Okay, here we go. Driving Ivan here at Radwood 2024 at the Amelia. I'm gonna show you every car, so smash that like button and let's get started. 944 behind me here, and that's a good place to start. The poor man's Porsche of the 80s, right? They're really great handling cars. And if they happen to be a turbo too, well, they're quick too. I uh, had one and they're great. I have a full driving review of it. Look at this mint green. That's pretty darn rare. This is Guards Red 944S. I would call it resale red too, because a lot of people want a red one, but this is a rare color for sure. They look great in white too, don't they? Really nice. Rad wood, here we go. Showing you every car. I showed you every car at the Cars and Coffee this morning. Plenty of cool Porsches, including Roof, Alois Roofs and company were there. But uh, yeah, here's a Carrera. Oh, here we go. These are my friends uh, representing the Florida Gators. And uh, we met yesterday. So uh, how you doing? Nice to see you here at Radwood. Showing you every car. We got a bond for sale. Oh, no, no, I, I don't think, <laughs> sir, I don't think women are for sale. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if it has that solid, yeah, there we go. That's right, Porsches are very solid vehicles. This one's a Florida, Florida Gators version, right? Are we having a fun 80s party, Gen Xers and, and Boomers, are we? Woo! All right, woo! I know, I, I'm, I'm a Gen Xer. <laughs> I think there's a lot of Gen Z's. Gen Z's and uh, Millennials love these cars too, you know? That's why they're so popular. And we love them too, don't we? Very cool. All right. <laughs> no, no, drive an Ivan, not Wiss. Drive an Ivan. <laughs> this was the 318 and uh, it was actually the entry level BMW, but a lot of people bought them stripped out and the entry level version with this, you know, the basic uh, steel wheels so that they could turn them into race cars like this one. This one is awesome, as you can see. If there's any music in the background and it's copyright blocked, well, I have to just uh, show you some uh, different music while I'm uh, showing you the cars and that will uh, then be, uh, my voice will be deleted. But oh well, that's just what happens when you have these popular songs playing in the background. Let me show you this puppy here, the, uh, 1998 Porsche 911 GT1. A little late for Radwood, but uh, I still love it. Look at that cool Mercedes, the one I kind of featured in my entry. Very cool. But wow, a lot of, a lot of great stuff out here. Recaro. <laughs> Look at that. Very cool. Chevy here. Uh, um, this does, uh, I think it fooled me couple years ago but this does look like a uh, a Dodge truck of the era too but it's a Chevy and uh, it's pretty cool I currently have a Ford Ranger pickup step side from the 90s a little late for Radwood but uh, I also have a Dodge Shelby Dakota pickup truck that is also it's one of the 1500 but it's also convertible so that's pretty cool this looks like a Silverado to me uh, C10 427 CID it is for sale too if you're interested, here's the engine and here's the contact information. Why not? Free advertising. If it sells, send Drive and Ivan a commission check, please. Thank you. And with that in mind, also smash that like button. Uh, and subscribe, too. It helps me out. And uh, don't skip the ads. <laughs> this is cool. A uh, Jeep Wagoneer with... Uh, flamed wood on the side that is super cool look at all the stickers too and the uh customization inside let's just say i love it i think it's really cool radwood special that's what radwood's all about it's also all about uh the 78 and beyond corvettes this is an 80 but the body change came in 1978 when they went with the glass back if you like a full driving review of the C3, just search Drive and Ivan in Corvette, you'll find it. I had a 77 Ford F250, El Camino. And uh, over here we have uh, Concellier, I guess. Look at that uh, lifted Miata, is also very cool. I should have spent a little more time on that. That is 
That is spectacular, isn't it? The Consolier Radwood. Oh, there's some cars that I love. Three of them. Three Riatas. I love the Riatas. I have a full driving review because I used to have one. Fortunately, still in the family because I love that car. Mine was blue with blue seats and a white top. Uh, here we go. So cool to see the Radwood cars. Pagoda Mercedes. That's not a Pagoda. That's the SL, the Panzer wagon. And uh, the Pagodas were the earlier ones. Pre-72 was the Pagoda. This one being a 280 SL is a Euro car. It never sold in America. Might even be a stick shift. Yes, it is. So, yeah, that's a nine American. ERST3R. This has the Alpina looking wheels. Don't think it's an Alpina. Porsche Turbo with uh, kind of the Strosec Gambella look here. This is awesome. Those seats were, uh, <laughs> that was extraordinarily luxurious in the 80s. I mean, that, it's hard to overstate how nice that was. Slant nose, I'm not sure if it's a factory slant nose or not. This one has Alpina looking wheels on it. I think they're clones, but uh, really cool. I have a full driving review of the 320i. Uh, and also a 2002 Alpina. So check out my SL reviews. I have three of them, 75, 83, and my current one is 74. Acura NSX. Spent a couple hours in these and it was revolutionary. Suddenly you had a mid-engined exotic car that was not European, but Japanese and reliable and Honda, Acura. So it was a paradigm shifting car. Really, really cool. This was uh, perhaps in America, this might have been the G20, but it's uh, Primera GT. But I think it was the G20 in America. Okay, let's get on to these. Um, great to see the 80s closer. The Buick Riata was uh, around the turn of the century, over engineered uh, by Buick. Really nice cars. This one with the red interior, digital dash. And uh, this one had a digital dash too, I believe. Yep. The Riviera. Nice looking cars, but love these. This is the hard top. And uh, this is a convertible. Search Drive and Ivan for a full review of this driving review. Really comfortable cars. Front wheel drive, V6. Kind of quick. Not as fast as the Elante. I have an Elante currently. I'm sure there's an Elante here somewhere. Wow, that's a Gambella. <laughs> Gotta go show you that one. That might be my favorite so far, but I haven't seen it yet. Things that make Drive and Ivan go well. Uh, Buick Riatas and Gambella Mercedes. Wow. This is the Mac Daddy of, uh, of uh, Radwood cars, in my opinion. Something like this with the Testarossa-inspired side. Not really, but uh, you had Strosek, you had Gambella, you had Koenig, and this one has some uh, really cool interior. Uh, great looking. Oh, no, show me the engine a little bit. Why not first before you close it? Oh, that's great. So six, inline six BMW, yeah. uh, how M20. many liters? Three and a half? Two and a half. Two and a half, okay. It makes about 200 wheel horsepower. Oh, cool. How was it to drive? Really comfortable. Wow, it's great. All right, close it up. Let me see the shape of this beauty. What's your name? Dominic. Dominic, driving Ivan, nice to meet nice you. To meet I'm you. doing a video on all the cars here. And uh, loving this one. I have a 635 CSI that's totally custom also. Yeah. Hey, 1988. What year is this one? 86. 86. It's an 85 chassis. They finished 85 86. chassis. Wow. That's, and it's actual gum, Gimbala. They the built the Avalanche they with Porsche. What's that? The only one they made. The only one. Wow. So it must be... Uh, how long have you had it? Super Two rare. Two years. Two years. Wow. Congratulations. Thank it's you. It's an amazing car. Where are you based? Pennsylvania. Oh, nice. Nice. Awesome car, sir. See it on Drive and Ivan later. You got the cassettes. Let's see if I like your music selections. Rod Stewart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Phil Collins. Absolutely. You know, Phil Collins just had a divorce. You know where he lives now? Stu Stu Studio. <laughs> I'm always willing to tell a music joke. Check out my video channel for music stories, song stories. And uh, wow, look at this Corvette. Looking good there. Really nice looking Corvette. Uh, Callaway. Absolutely. Interesting fact, 
I believe the day I went and saw the Jay Leno show live, Jay Leno drove his uh, Callaway Corvette that day. Might be a Lingenfelter. I'm trying to remember. It was yellow. Very cool. But very 80s, like this one, and uh, so cool. This might be 90s, actually. So it's a little late, I think, for Radwood, but that's okay. Let me show you this two-tone Riviera. So cool. The pinnacle of luxury, if you couldn't afford a Cadillac in the 80s, early 90s also. Uh, this one's yeah, a little earlier, I think. Such good looking cars. They were very clean. Oldsmobile Tornado, kind of uh, similar. And look, you wanna know what it cost back then? Of course you do. You can pause it, check out all the numbers, but uh, you're looking at 19915. And we have an Elvira DVD. How cool is that? Radwood. All oh, right. There's another one. And there's another one. They're all over the place. Look at them. Absolutely. Well, Tina Turner probably uh, have to cancel out this audio. You won't hear me because Tina Turner is going to try to take all my proceeds, which I don't appreciate. Tina Turner's estate has enough money, I believe. <laughs> She's a great singer. This was a great time, actually, when this came out in music. Uh, a lot of great music out there. And you had the whole alternative scene. People like me were listening to R.E.M. and The Smiths and Squeeze while, uh, you know, this was mainstream pop radio. You had the Michael Jacksons and the Madonnas and the Tina Turners. So that's what it was like. Showing you all the dogs and all the cars here at uh, the Amelia. All the dogs, all the cars. This, of course, wow, nice interior here. Red uh, piping on the uh, black with uh, the H-Gate, famous Ferrari H-Gate. This is a lovely car. The Ferrari H-Gate is one of those wonders of the automotive world. I drive this car, I tell you what it's like. Just start driving Ivan 308 and you'll see what it's like to drive it. Man, was that a great day. I love this car, love, love driving it. And uh, it was my first favorite Ferrari when I first saw it on the cover of Sports Car Graphic. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was great. Um, Look at that, he's got some information back there. Replaced by the 3.2 liter 328 uh, later on, but these are the uh, better looking cars, I think, 308, even though those might be better to own. Again, that Acura NSX there. Um, we got some Skyline GTRs over here, and uh, either a Ferrari 550. Nice to see the two door and the four-door right next to each other for comparison's sake. Um, Ferrari, let's just call it a 550 Maranello. And let's see inside. It's got the Daytona seats, got the H-gate. Very similar to the one I reviewed. Uh, 550 Maranello. Have you, is this yours? It is. All right, have you seen the Drive and Ivan review of this car? You ought to go online and watch me review it. It's a great car. You've got, uh, in my opinion, one of the best Ferraris there is to have, sir. And it's blue. I agree. Extra points there. Daytona seats, very nice. And the handling package. Look at that. Wow, is it gorgeous. The handy fire extinguisher. The handy fire extinguisher. Don't, don't leave home without it, of course. If you own Italian cars, you never want to leave home without that. But very, very nice, sir. Thank you. Watch it later on Drive and Ivan, my Radwood coverage. Or watch my Cars and Coffee video where I show you all this. Nice. Or a, you know, a 550 Marinello review. I also review the Roma and the 308. And I'm trying to think what else. Well, I have a Maserati Spider. That's a good one to watch, too. If you can't afford a Ferrari, buy a Maserati Spider. Why not? <laughs> Acura NSX, and if you want a reliable, reliable mid-engine exotic, go with this one, Acura NSX, great car. All right, here we go, Porsches, Ferraris, everything. Here we get into some Fox Body Mustangs. I finally reviewed the Fox Body Mustang. I've been wanting to review one for ages and finally did it. And I picked a nice example, white on white. This is a cool color, the RX-7 in a kind of a rust, uh, color, ooh, a B10 3.0 all red. That is very, very cool. I'm a big fan of Alpinas, and uh, 
This is a real one. I have a B7 personally. And I review the B10 touring, but I haven't edited the video yet. So, uh, oh, you don't have to, you're fine. Just keep relaxing. I shot around you, it's okay. Relax, enjoy your car, that's what it's there for. How do you like it? We love it. Yeah? Well, it's a real Alpina, right? It is. How long have you had it? We bought it in January. Oh, wow. Cool, was it here already in the US? Uh, yeah, actually it was. It nice. Was, um, built in Germany, it was built for Japan. Okay. nice nice what year is it 95. 95 there you go so and i have a review of the b10 touring version the station wagon coming soon as soon as i edit it it's uh, going to be edited soon but watch my aston martin lagonda and my bmw z8 reviews in the meantime plus my alpina b7 review this is gorgeous use it in good health all rad love it out of the sunshine state too fox body mustang like i was saying before Yes, it's a stick shift manual, and uh, yes, it's cool. They had the 5.0, they had the LX too, which was, this is a little bit of a sleeper. Uh, it's got the wing though, but the LX was a bit a little understated. It still had the 5.0, you could option it that way. That was pretty cool. If you wanna know what it originally went for, press pause right now. Okay, Mercedes SL from the 90s, 1989 was the one last one so you know radwood eh, i think it kind of ends at the 80s but this is an early 90s sl that's okay there we go those audis are looking cool I'll get you over there to see those but the v12 mercedes the 600 sl that was pretty cool let's see what this one says back here sel i thought something like that sec there you go rentech wow it's really rentech that's cool amg c43 man those are great I wouldn't mind an AMG Mercedes, and uh, this would be nice. Look at that interior. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. What do you think? I love the two-tone interior. I don't know why all manufacturers don't take more time to do that. Uh, before I show you that Ferrari Testarossa, I will show you this beautiful uh, Mercedes here. And uh, let's see, AMG. Yes, yes, yes. I am the Stig. It's funny. So yeah, the V12 Mercedes, very cool. This Nissan Silvia, looking to be a uh, GTR also. Uh, not sure if it is, but um, JDM for sure. Japanese domestic market. Right-hand drive, very cool color, two-tone. Look at this. Holy, holy. What are we looking at here? It is a Stelvio. Now that's what they call the Alfa Romeo SUV these days. Uh, and I'm not sure what this is, it's Zagato Stelvio. Autotech Zagato Stelvio and Gavia, A21. Uh, 1952 talks about the history, yada yada. This looks like it uh, came out in, I don't know, early 80s, I'm not sure. This is super, super cool. Look at this thing, oh my God. <laughs> you don't see one of these every day. I will tell you that. Uh, baddest in show. Detroit Redwoods, September 2019. Yeah, I would say. <laughs> Where are you going to see another one of these? Well, you're not. <laughs> Love Zagato. I had a launch here, Zagato. Zagato is a styling house in Italy. Uh, and they're famous for their double bubble roof which they kind of incorporated into this one a little bit. And that also helps you, uh, if you're on the track, wear a helmet while you're driving too. So it's functional as well as stylish. But this purple paint job, oh my God, this is, this is ridiculous. Look at the side view mirrors right there. How insane is that? Oh my God, that is cool, cool, cool. <laughs> This is a stunner. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Smash that like button and subscribe too while you're at it. Holy, holy, holy. This is awesome. Zagato Milano. Okay. Um, Skyline GTRs. Wow, look at all those cars. I'm going to have so much fun walking around here. I showed you the cars in coffee today. Uh, and now here we are at Radwood. 
This is a, I believe this is a Testarossa Monoposto, they call it. Oh no, it's got, yeah. That means it has only one side view mirror. The cheese grater sides, these were insanely controversial when they came out because they were replacing that 308 uh, arrow on the side there. And people were like, what the heck is this? Came out in 1984 and uh, it was around until like 90 when they replaced it with the 512M, which I think looks a little better. But this was, I'm telling you, this was a paradigm shift in car design. You saw that uh, AMG earlier with these Testarossa <coughs> Testeros sides and uh, I'm telling you, people were just amazed by that. It was just, uh, you know, some people loved it, some people hated it. But uh, anyway, this is uh, one badass Audi. I do review a UR Quattro, so uh, you can just search Drive and Ivan UR Quattro to see my driving review. That was an amazing car, actually. But I love rally cars. I have a Lancia Delta Integrale in my collection. So if you want to know what I drive, search What Does Drive and Ivan Drive. And uh, also watch my Free Your Mind music video which has uh, some of my car collection and lots of my musical instrument collection too. Cool stuff here. Um, did I show you these over there? I want to show you everything. Got to show you every car, no matter what, even if they're not Radwood. These are 70s, but still, that's okay. You got to see every car. Oh, they're having a little meeting up there. I wanted to show you the inside of an RX-7, too, because they're pretty cool. This was uh, all the car in the late 70s, early 80s. This first generation of RX-7, rotary power, and uh, wow, it was really awesome. But this one, this color is... Uh, Sunset Bronze is what Nissan called this color, which you could see on their 200SX and other cars. Here's that Alpina interior again, but... Uh, Testarossa, wow, walk you back through here. <laughs> that Zagato is something else, isn't it? A very cool looking uh, 911 here. Great color combo, uh, 964, I believe, Carrera yep. 2. This is the one the singer is based on. So uh, it'll be early 90s, 92. I had a 92 Carrera 4 Cabriolet. Uh, the Carrera 2 is better, I think, because I didn't like the all-wheel drive in it. I have a 996, and I love the all-wheel drive in that. Yeah. And I have a SC as well. Yeah. But this color combo is, I love what you did. Yeah, awesome, thanks. awesome. Very cool. The roll bar, little bit of, did you try to do the piping there? I don't know. It, it needs some piping in this color, right on the seat. Yeah. yeah. But other than that, Porsche perfections are very nice. See it later on Drive and Ivan. Yeah. All right. Love it. Carrera, slant nose. Look, they even have boats. And they got everything. I'll tell you. This is a 993. Later. Slant nose. Wow, this one might just be the coolest Porsche here. I don't know. Mm. Turbo. Sport racing seats there. Wow, that looks great. 928. And it's a manual. Dog leg first. That's right. First is back here. And then you go second, third, fourth, fifth. And that's because you're seldom in first gear when you're racing. So it's more of a racing thing, honestly. This is known as the German Corvette. Great cars. I do have one. 78 and uh, yeah they're really cool <laughs> and they handle very well too great grand touring car this is a 911 SC 78 to 83 it's a turbo uh, so that's pretty cool mm. usually four speeds in these four speed manual because it had so much torque and power that you know they didn't need a five speed for, for the turbo 944 S2 convertible. And onward down we go. See what else there is to see. I'm going to go row by row here so that you can uh, see every single car. And I'll start on this side. Row by row. 
Not sure what we're looking at there, but uh, it's pretty crazy. Mercedes SL. Mazda RX-7 Twin Turbo. Saline Mustang Special Edition number seven. Read all about it here if you press pause. Signed by Steve Saline there. That's pretty cool. It's a very special Mustang racecraft suspension. Very special Fox Body Mustang right here. But do watch my review of the Fox Body. I'm a big fan. Because, you know, I grew up with them. Friends had them. It was, a, what, a 7-Eleven Sprite version or something? This is a 996 Turbo. Ah, it's nice. It's a turbo look. It's not a turbo. White gauges. Very cool. Mitsubishi Evo 4. There you go, the Lancer. I reviewed the Rally Art Lancer, I believe. Celica, looking good. This is a real Radwood special, 1983. Very cool interior color and everything else. Sunroof. That is all the luxury you could expect to have back in uh, 1983, kids. Uh, see the dash, see the manual transmission, see the engine. This is all you could get back then. Very, very cool. There was, there was so many innovative things that Toyota did. Yeah. Uh, with, the, with the flares over the wheels. And well, and reliable sports car. I always love the convertible, too. You know, really nice. But uh, see it all later on Driving Ivan. You'll see the video of every car here. Great car. Is it yours? Incredible. Very nice, sir. It needs a drive and Ivan driving review, though. I love it. Very cool. Jaguar? Yeah, I'd love to do a driving review on one of those. That's been on my list. I kind of want to buy one of those, but uh, I need to sell some cars first. Somebody buy my uh, Martini Livery Fiat 600 or my uh, very low mileage Redwood car, my Cadillac Elante. I haven't seen one yet, surprisingly, here. Thought I would. This is a Geo Metro convertible. Very cool. They've uh, safaried it a bit, and tweaked it, and uh, made it something special, really. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. It's just so, like, rat-rotted. Incredible. Porsche 911 Carrera. I like the Carrera script on the side and the custom luggage. Uh, very cool. If you're looking for a cool... Volkswagen, this is a cool one, and here's the information. Please do send Drive and Ivan a commission if you sell it. Very cool. Contact them if you're interested. 1,285,027 miles. Wow. Very cool. Oh, right said Fred, I'm too sexy. Probably screwing up my copyright in this video as we speak, but that's okay. It's a cool song. Uh, this is a cool truck, too. This is the SUV of the 80s, kids. This is it. What year? 90. So it's right on the cusp. Very cool. Come on, you can't debadge it. If you debadge it, I'll say what it, the wrong thing. What is it? S10 Chevy Blazer, kids. There it is. Chevy S10. <laughs> Looks great. Drive an Ivan Cats. Watch it later. Viper, uh, nice, nice uh, weathered looking Porsche 911 with the sheepskins. Mine actually had sheepskins when I bought it too. My 911 SC, uh, really cool. This is uh, this is what a Jetta looked like back in the day. <laughs> you want to know? Really cool. You see, we actually had a diesel Jetta. Believe it or not, I remember driving in it with my brother. A diesel Jetta. This is a special uh, Harlequin. This is a special um, VW Golf. You see these for sale every once in a while. This is actually a factory car, though. Uh, Javen Tuck Freak. Um, not what it's called, but uh, it's pretty cool. And it's pretty 80s. And wow, this is a Ford EXP, I believe. Uh, let me see. Ford EXP. There you go. 10. How much was it? $9,471.472. That's pretty cool to see. What year was that? Um, hard to see, but uh, that's hilarious. I have the original window sticker on my Lotus Esprit Turbo, 
and uh, it was about $65,000 in 1988. So there you go. 9,000, 10,000 for some of these and uh, the Lotus was $65,000. Chevy Lumina, the APV, all-purpose vehicle. That was before SUV was a popular term, so it was all-purpose vehicle. How about that? <laughs> True Radwood uh, stuff. This reminds me of my Jetta pickup, but this is cooler. This is stock. Uh, Volkswagen Rabbit pickup truck, basically. Uh, from the 70s, early 80s. So cool. Not a Ford Mustang, but a Mercury 5.0. So Ford, Lincoln, Mercury. They were all twin companies. And this is the ASC McLaren version, I believe. So there you go. This is super rare. Super Radwood. And uh, it's funny because, you know, the, the RX-7 is getting a lot of attention. But uh, these were way more common than an than a ASC McLaren 5.0. So it's funny. No one's paying attention to it, and everybody's paying attention to this one. Let me know what you think of that in the comments. What's cooler, twin turbo RX-7 or the uh, ASC McLaren? By the way, I was going to buy one of these. It was not a stick, but I was going to buy a blue one. Back in the day, Amazon Green, they called it, for 5000 bucks, <laughs> and I didn't do it. Are you all laughing and crying right now? <laughs> 535 Here is a... BMW 635, well, this is an M6. Mine's a 635 CSI, totally custom. This one has the BBS wheels, and uh, it's a manual. Mine is an L6, the luxury version, but uh, this one's very cool. What do we think? I think it's cool. Oh, there we go, we're getting the engine start up on the RX-7. scarcity of this Mercury yeah, this, ASC McLaren, this, is cool. this is much rarer and none of you are looking at it. I know. ASC McLaren. You guys see a McLaren and you get excited, right? Well, this is a McLaren from the 80s. Come on. Come on, Gen Z. Here it is. Here it is. Yeah, I know. I know. Like I said, I have one. 1990 RX-7. Check it out on Drive and Ivan. Hopefully we drive every car here. Say hi to driving Ivan. <laughs> All right. Cool engine, huh? No rotors. <laughs> I know this makes some people sick when they see this, but that's okay. That's what's so cool about the car community. Volvos. All sorts of cool stuff there. Trying to show you every single car. I'm uploading my cars and coffee video from this morning. That should be live soon. Uh, shooting, uploading all at the same time. It's a busy day here at the Amelia, and tomorrow is the Concours. Looking forward to that. I'll be at the auction later, and uh, maybe even somewhere else special. So keep posted, keep looking at Drive and Ivan, and you'll see some cool videos, maybe even live. Uh, <laughs> Nissan Maxima station wagon. Some of these had uh, digital dashes, actually, and you can uh, type the numbers in to get in. That was very in vogue in the 80s early 80s but this one does not have the digital dash it says nismo on the steering wheel that's hilarious so yeah we had one of these too it was not a uh station wagon but this is a car that talked to you it would say left door is open right door is open it was hilarious we used to drive uh my parents crazy with that we would each open a door my brother and i and try to drive my parents insane which probably worked oh look it's uh not a cyber truck it's a terra not Elon, it says. <laughs> wow. Not Elon, no sir. The transporter. I don't exactly know what we're looking at, but it's uh, very cool, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> I guess he's got a pretty big garage. <laughs> or he attracts a lot of attention from people driving by his house. Subaru Brat. This was uh, this was the SUV of the day, pickup truck, 
with Subaru reliability and all-wheel drive. How cool is that? It was cool, let me tell you. They had a whole cult following for good reason. Show you some of these cars up here. Wow. There's cars everywhere. Cars everywhere. Gloria. I love the names of these Japanese. <laughs> JDM cars, very cool. Always reminds me of U2 song Gloria when I see these. Very cool cars. What would be the closest car? I mean, is this like a um, Lexus or I mean, they, Infinity? Oh, it's an Infinity, so it would be the Q45, sort of? A 93 Q45. Okay, yeah. There you go, that's cool. Very, very cool. JDM cars, interesting. Certainly huge rage right now. This is a Nissan 200SX, which you could get with a digital dash. And uh, this one does not have it, but uh, that's okay. Still cool, manual. Most of these are turned into uh, probably uh, drifting cars these days, but um, I'm glad to see this one stock and in redwood shape. This is what they looked like back in the day. Uh, pretty soon, I will have a review of the finest Nissan 200SX in the world. More on that later. But uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and share. Uh, Drive and Ivan. And uh, yes, I promise you, it is the nicest 200SX that anyone has ever seen. And soon I shall be doing a driving review on it. So uh, look out for that one. All right, down the line we go. Porsches. With the whale tail or without the whale tail? You tell me. Mine does not have the whale tail, but it also does not have a Van Halen sticker on the windshield, so that's kind of funny. Van Halen on the windshield. They even have an album, 1984. If you haven't heard that album, you should listen to it. It's very good. <laughs> As all their albums are. Volkswagen Rabbit, Diesel L. How about that? Diesel Volkswagen with a baby seat in back. Wow, very pure car. Thank you. Very pure. Can I see the interior? Sure. Please. All right. Let's check it out. Very, very cool. You got, got a little model of the car too. So yeah, this is this is very Radwood, y'all, because this is real. You know, these this would be the car that my friends and I took to lunch in school, you know? <laughs> so uh, this is the real deal. I'm definitely a Gen X 80s guy, so I, re I remember these cars, you know, it's, it's funny. I know they're in, I know most people love them now in the car culture, but uh, it's a little different when you grew up with them. <laughs> Very cool. Del Sol, Honda Civic Del Sol, really cool. That was awesome. Those were always cool. Japanese reliability kind of a Targa top. Oh, those were special cars. I've always loved those. Mercedes SLs are great too, of course. <laughs> not sure about that. It's not Halloween, is it? But this is a 450 SL, which would put it around 1970, mid 70s, early 70s for a 450 SL. But uh, pre-Radwood actually. S600, another V12 Mercedes. Let's go ahead and show you uh, the ultimate in luxury in Mercedes-Benz right there. Is it okay if I open the door? Can I do that? You have my permission, but it's his car. Oh, can I open the door and show the luxurious interior? Can I? You got a dollar? No, I do not, sir. <laughs> Driving Ivan does not have a dollar. Please smash that like button so that, um, yes, this video can be monetized even more while you're looking at this beautiful Top of the line, luxurious, uh, early 90s? 99, S600. Oh, it's late 90s, S600 V12. So there you go. Smells like a Mercedes from that era. God, these were really just very smooth, very quick. But, this is the uh, cardinal seat to Pope sits on the other side. Yeah, near the Pope curve. sits on the other side. Actually, I was just at the Mercedes Museum in, in Germany this summer, and I show you the Pope Mobile. Isn't it's that, an amazing it, I, car. Been to that museum. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, drive in, search Drive and Ivan in Mercedes Museum and you'll find it. Wow, was that seeing the Pope Mobile and the special cars they had that was amazing. Yeah, what's Drive and what'd you call yourself? Drive and Ivan. You'll see me. You got a 
I review cars and do car. I'm just showing you every car here and every car at the Cars and Coffee all weekend. Just Google Drive and Ivan and Mercedes. I also have a, an SL currently. So, yeah, you'll see it. Cool. It's care. out there. What's your name? David. Hey, David, thank you. you nice to meet you. <laughs> Great car, sir. Thanks. 99 S600, top of the line Mercedes for the day. Uh, here we have a JDM. Cedric. Uh, Nissan Cedric, there we go. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. I appreciate the help on the JDM cars because uh, look at that ever present awesome V6 from Nissan that you see in the Z cars and everywhere else. This is an MR2 with a hard top. Uh, that's pretty cool. Very cool. Look at this. A Sarah. It's a K car, kids. I believe Nissan Sarah, is that what it is? Toyota Sarah car. I should know this. Look. It's got a racing sticker, I love that. I did just drive the Nurburgring this summer for the first time ever. You can search that and see what car I was driving. It was very cool, wow. The seats are incredible in that. There's a camera in wow, here too. Wow. It might have also been a- Why not? Oh, it probably was. Yeah. It's a wrap, I believe. Is this is. yours? Yes, sir. Yeah? What year is it? 91. And it's a Sarah? Toyota Sarah. Yeah, yes, it's a Toyota, I couldn't remember. With It's a K car? It is not. No. It's not a K-Cars. K-Cars, I think, need that 660. Six, so this is more. Yeah, so 1.5. This has more. Okay, yeah. 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 I just reviewed the Honda Beat. That was amazing. But, uh, yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, it's a super fun little car. Wow. And the wrap and everything. Let's see. So you, you live here in Florida? Or? I do, yeah. yeah because nice. I'm up, uh, come, uh, last year from Texas. I've been searching for one for about a year and a half. So the nice. wrap is coming off pretty soon. Uh, I came with the wrap. And it's yeah, it's, showing the same it's awesome. What are no these idea. selling for? Tell the people what these are selling for these days. Uh, the round, uh, depending on where you're at, used to show around 10. Dealers are going for up to about 17 is about the yeah. highest. I've seen the market starting to climb, though. These were solidly single uh, single digits, thousands, you know, before. Yeah, they're, they're really cool. Play. Driving that beat <laughs> makes me really want one of these. You so know. Much fun they are. Around it. it is. It's so unique too. This one with the goal. You have to get the AutoZam AZ1 to have anything similar. Absolutely. So there you go. What year is this again? 91. 91. So there you go. I think it qualifies for Radwood. Thanks a lot. See it on Drive and Ivan tonight. What's your name? Sounds good. I'm Charlie, sir. Charlie? All right, man. Nice to meet you. Great car. Stock MR2 right here, it looks like, next to it. Um, yeah. MR2. All right, down the line we go. GTA Trans Am, that's pretty darn rare. Got the uh, JDM license plate there, that's pretty cool. 793, very custom pickup truck here. <laughs> wow. Some of the stuff here is just so custom and so cool. And they got CDs everywhere. All right, going row by row here. Showing you some good old American Pontiac stuff. Pontiac convertible. The Sunfire. At the Firebird front. This is a rare Porsche color. Kind of a rose metallic. Uh, very cool. I was looking at a 996 in this color. Believe it or not, it was very cool. E420, Palomino 560 SEL Trans Am. Love to see the people in the 80s clothes. So cool. <laughs> Yeah, got the fanny pack and everything. My God. Woo. See it later on Drive and Ivan. <laughs> Two tone 924 for sale. Uh oh. It's for sale, kids. I like it. Two tone 924. Let's see if it's a stock 924. Oh, it's a turbo. Wow, it's going to get all the money. You know, these can be quicker than a 944 if they're a turbo. Uh, and. In ways, you know, they're smaller and lighter, so that's better. So yeah, this is a very desirable 924 right here. Poor man's Porsche for sure, but it's a turbo. So that's very cool. All right, here we go. More 80s, more 80s outfits. <laughs> Neptune. That is a beauty. Look at this Cadillac, oh my God. Look at that Cadillac, look at that. Rolling down the avenue. I want to get me a Cadillac too. Eight track, white leather, eight track. Maybe it's, it's eight and one. feels like. Coupe de Ville. This is what I took my driver's test in, except mine was 11 years before this and a convertible. But yeah, 
I got an 80 in the, in the driveway. Nice, nice, nice. See, uh, someone came on. Someone, someone came on. Yeah, people just love this. And what's not to love? This is just a great era of cars. I mean, they were not controlled by mechanics. Oh, this, I believe this is the very same uh, Alpina B10 that I reviewed. Uh, so I have a driving review coming soon for this car. And uh, it's an Alpina B10 Touring. And I believe this is the same one. I guess my friend is here. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you what it's like to drive this. And uh, let me just tell you, it was great. So yeah, I'll have that driving review of this exact car coming soon. Very cool. Uh, Granda Mark. Mark II. So basically, uh, Toyota Camry looking sort of thing. Right hand drive. JDM. Pretty cool. It's funny because this is the Rage, but I think it would be a little jarring to drive uh, on the right hand side at first at least. But um, there goes that rare colored Porsche 911. Okay, I'm going down the next row here. A couple few more rows to show you. I'm not going to miss a car. No, I'm not late 80s. Now this is the uh, version of the RX-7 that I have that I put my, uh, that I have an LT1 in, but mine's a convertible. This is a turbo too, so this is all stock and everything. This is a uh, pretty darn quick car actually. Pontiac, uh, hmm, 6,000 6, LE, bedazzled a little bit. Very cool. Woody Wagon, Mitsubishi pickup truck. We'll get to everything, don't worry. You're gonna see it all. Ceramic bro. Porsche 964 911, M3, BMW. Oh, it's a Dinan, Dinan, M3. I had a Dinan 7 Series. Oh, there goes that, uh, wow, look at this. This, oh my God, so cool. Driving Ivan here, interviewing the owners of this, uh, they didn't ask for this interview, but I'm going to do it anyway. You don't mind, do you? No, so cool. Fine. What do you got here, sir? Zagato? This is an Autec Zagato Stelvio AZ1. Okay. Autec, the tuning arm of Nissan, partnered with uh, Italian coach builder, Zagato. Yep. It's on your yes, Thank and you. it's got the Zagato double bubble roof yeah, a little yep, bit. It sure does. Yep. That's right. Yep. Anything else I need to know about it? What's the engine? Uh, it's the BG30 6. How many cylinders? V6. Yep. V6, okay. Yep. That would be about right. How is it driving with these crazy rear view mirrors? Is, that, is it? Yeah. Pretty useless. Yeah. How far did you drive it? We drove from Cleveland, Ohio. Oh my God. What yeah. sort of looks do you get driving down the highway in this thing? I mean. You get a lot of thumbs ups and a lot of just, you know, jaws on the yeah, floor. Yeah, yeah. I have a Lancia Delta Integrale, and it's, even though that's a much more normal car, but uh, yeah, I, I had a Lancia Zagato. I love Zagato. I spent about a month and a half in Italy this summer touring all the factories. I love Italy, and this is amazing. Thank you so much for bringing it. I already spent a long time on it earlier. See you tonight on Drive and Ivan. Anything else we need to know about this car? Uh, we love it. We're happy that other people love it, and happy to share, and we're going to be at the show tomorrow. Oh, cool. I'll look forward to seeing it then, too. So nice. Thanks for bringing it. Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> There's another question. <laughs> it's got a nice little sound to it, actually. Wow. That is incredible. <laughs> so happy I saw that. Looks like a lot of people. Yeah, man. I was just no, telling brother. the people they're going to see a driving review of this one soon. Oh, yeah. Somebody was asking me if you put it up yet or not. Soon. Soon. Very cool. Soon. I, I've, it's it's literally yet? next. Did you do the Uganda? I would say next week. It's posted already. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah. Have and the Z8. It's already there. But yours is next, honestly. Have a good one. So nice to see you. Nice to see you. <laughs> Ooh, a purple. Purple. 968. Holy crap, that is beautiful. Got to be modified by somebody. Ooh. Anyway, uh, let me make sure that I've shown you everything in this line. And uh, I'm getting there. Very cool. 80s MR2. 87. It's the first edition. Twin camp. Look at that. Just as cool as it gets. These are incredible cars. 
Yeah, so the event here, I guess it's uh, sort of coming to an end. But uh, I'm going to continue walking around and showing you everything. Anyway, hopefully I'll get, uh, I'll speed up here and just go on down the line for you. I don't want you to miss anything. March. That's a rare one. Not sure what it is. If you know, let me know in the comments. These Corvettes started in 84. There was no 1983 Corvette. Believe it or not, there was an 82, and then there was an 84. <laughs> An interesting twin turbo RX-7 Super Edition of that same MR2. Nice. All of them driving out now. <laughs> so cool. I guess I could just sit here and wait for everybody to drive out, huh? But there's just going to be a traffic jam for a while here, so I'll go up this way. <laughs> cool traffic jam, huh? Yeah. The one time you might not complain about having the family stuck in traffic. A Great to see them all rolling out. Nice to see this event with a lot of police presence. Really, you feel safe here. You feel great walking around. And they're doing a good job of directing the hellacious traffic. And uh, it's just, uh, it's good. Thanks for being here, guys. Plus, you get to look at some cool cars, right? Have you gotten to pull any of them over yet? Uh, no, we're not assigned to that. So oh, good, okay. Yeah, here, here. Wow. Radwood traffic jam, how do you like it? Keep in mind, I'm also showing you that second tier of cars there. There we go, okay, traffic's free up. Let them run through here. Beautiful Outlaw 911 here, very cool. Nice to see the engines humming. That purple uh, 968 is awesome. Celine Mustang, very cool. Toyota Camry, I guess. Uh, yeah. Wagon, Miata, Mazda. Wow. Getting quite a show on the way out here, aren't we? This is great. 20,000 original miles. Drive and Ivan. Driving Ivan. Ivan. Okay. What a great traffic jam, huh? Cool stuff here, 928. Search Driving Ivan 928 to see my driving review of my 928, 1978. Driving Ivan. Plus, I'll show you every car here at Rudwood. See? It's a true four seater. Yes, Three seater. Hey, are you? You got to be real comfortable back there. Isn't that awesome? Did you draw the short straw? Yes. Nine hours? Yeah, nine hours. Are you out of your mind? Yeah, a little bit. Are you are you keeping that guy like yeah, I'm you know, to. You're, you're giving him drinks and stuff I'm and trying. stopping when he wants to stop? Yeah, Alright, good. Nice to hear it. Right. <laughs> Check it out later. Drive it Ivan. Risky business. That's the movie that made that car a little famous too, Tom Cruise. Fox Body Mustang again, 5-0. This is really cool. Tell me about this build. It is a 3.3, 964 cams, uh, Coquelin air cooler, bigger turbo. Okay, but it's not one of the known like Strosec or any of the Gimbella, none of that stuff. No. Just, it's really cool. Thank you, appreciate it. Very nice, Thank very you. nice. See it later on Drive and Ivan. Right. I have that same one on my 911 SC. Yeah. <laughs> Except it. mine has 911 SC embroidered into it. Yeah, <laughs> keep the Dash yeah, the dashes perfect. are legendary to crack, but hey, looks awesome. Really nice slant nose. Steel, steel or fiberglass? Steel, okay. Here's that cool Celica. Nice to see it driving around. See, they run beautifully, don't they? Those stripes adds a little bit, looking good. Cool uh, RX7 there. That's pretty cool. Rare color here, but this one uh, I wanted to show you this too. That 
is cool. Suzuki Cappuccino, I think. No, it's a Honda Beat. It's the Honda Beat. I should know because I just reviewed it, but it just looks a little lower and compressed than that one. Jeep Wrangler 4.0. Yeah. <laughs> so funny to see these uh, people loving the retro cars, you know. So great to see them rolling out, too. This is a great Cadillac. Beautiful. I took my driver's test in a 70 Coupe de Ville turquoise right? white convertible. Yeah, it was my dad's car. Nice. This is an 81, right? 80, yeah. Ten, 11 years later, but still, all that Coupe de Ville elegance. That's right. What's the color called? It's not quite the turquoise that Neptune my dad was. Neptune Aqua. Neptune, Neptune Aqua. Aqua. And it's got the Neptune Aqua steering wheel, dude. I mean, that That's is right. cool. Hey, what, what's the 8-track? What are you, what are you listening Denver. to? John Denver. Of course. Yeah. Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. And it worked. See it later on Drive and Ivan. 944 S2 convertible. Right? Yeah. With the go. 80s Radwood cooler. Yeah. <laughs> Party all the time. <laughs> Raddest accessory. Yeah. Absolutely it is. El Camino. So yeah, the Honda B. How cool is that? Oh, and it has a rare leopard interior too. That's rare, kids, to see it in that good shape. As I said when I was reviewing it. Uh, look for uh, my video of the Honda, Honda B driving review, but also look at uh, the St. Pete Festival of Speed. I show you every car there too. 383 Stroker. Yeah. Cherokee Classic. Very nice. You got any lift on it? Maybe a little? No, it's actually stock. That's stock, huh? Yeah. Looking good. Stock height. How's the interior? <laughs> good, I think. Especially for 240,000 miles. Yeah, it's looking good. That's really clean. What year is it? It's, a, it's actually an 01, but they made an exception. Since it's, uh, yeah. It looks very, it looks the part. Yeah. yeah. Looks retro. I thought it was a little late. What's the latest they want you to be here with? Um, I guess this is kind of it. They made an exception for the Cherokee since it ran. Maybe they're, what did they cut it off, in the 90s sometime? 99, like technically. Okay, yeah, cool. But since this went, maybe one. Why not? Yeah. You can always just tell them it's an 85. Yeah, exactly. So, it's been fun. 95, maybe? I don't know. All right. Looking vet here. That's your Insta right there. Cool. Drive and Ivan. You'll see every car here later. Drive and Ivan Cats on Insta. Check out the tail lights when you walk by me. All right. Manual. Very cool spec. What year is it? 91. 91. There you go. I'm checking out the tail lights. What are they? LCD? What are they? Really cool. Very nice, sir. Retro vet on Instagram sells them. Okay, retro vet on Instagram. You hear that, kids? All right, there you go. It's a traffic jam over here. They're trying to get out. Let's go and let's go and interview this this fellow with the Geo Metro, <laughs> sir. This is cool as hell. Identify as carbon fiber. That is hilarious. <laughs> this car's pronouns. Oh, can you turn the music down so I don't get in trouble? Is that a? Yeah, there you go. Okay, cool. Now we can talk. What's your first name? Torre. Torre, this is cool, man. Thank you. The cheapest convertible you could buy at the time. The <laughs> Geo Metro. I love these, man. They had a Yugo convertible, too. That was earlier, though. Um, what's it like? What's it like to own and drive? Um, slow. Yeah. Inexpensive. Yeah. Good on gas. Yeah. How many MPGs do you get? 40. Nice. Yeah. 40 miles per gallon. You got it totally stripped. I mean, yeah. You know. There's nothing left in here. So how much does it weigh? Sixteen hundred. If with all the stuff, it'd probably be like two thousand, uh, twenty-one hundred. It would be eighteen hundred. Oh wow! This is still yeah. super light. Wow. And you got some cool wheels on it too. Thank you. What's the LSI? Is it the top of the line? Yeah. All oh, shucks. <laughs> top of the line. <laughs> well, so cool to meet you. I, I saw this car earlier and uh, watch it later on Drive and Ivan. Drive. I'll show you every car here. Driving Showing you every event at the Amelia. Driving Ivan on I'll YouTube. Sure that. There you go.
All right, Buick. These were always cool. Before Jaguar made the full convertible, they had this. This is, of course. Oh. They want you to make a move. This this Jag behind you, they want you to make a move. Yeah. <laughs> I told him. There you go. He's loud, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Wow, right hand drive. That's uh that is rare to see a manual. That's so what, what I was saying about? before about it. I don't understand. What do you think? What are you talking about? How long has this been in the US? Uh since about June of last year. Okay. You imported it yourself, sir? Yep, yep. brought it in um, from England. Uh, Sussex, England. Oh, nice. Yeah, I just uh, drive it, Ivan, and I just did a series of videos on how to import a car from Europe. I titled a car. I bought three cars in Europe and titled oh, one, drove it on the Nürburgring, drove it all over. <laughs> nice. And uh, so check it out, drive and Ivan. Plus, you'll see yourself. You might want to watch. What's your first name? Jansen. Jansen. Cool name, cool car. Thank you, Love sir. it. Thank oh, it's you. one of those rare. This is one of the rare, like, special. Yep. It's the, uh, uh, what do they call this one? I thought it was called an H something or other. No, 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 those are 12 cylinders. So, so what is that one that, that I'm thinking of? It's a 12 cylinder. H-E. The H-E, okay, yeah. But this is not one of those. But So what's the engine? 3.6 liter straight six. 3.6 liter straight six. How's the shifter? Is it kind of sloppy or is it good? Is no, it good? Really, yeah. really direct and nice and, you know, can't really, can't really Put complain. it through the gears there. Put it, let oh, me yeah. see this. First, second, third, fourth. Nice. It's got to be. It's got to be considerably quicker than the automatic ones. From yeah, that's that's awesome. I mean, there's not. I'm not. An, I'm not a manual snob. I have a lot of cars. I collect cars, but this one, it's very cool in a manual. So thank you. very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Using good health. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. There you go. That is so cool. What else we got here? I don't know. Probably nothing new, but um, looks like uh, she's ready to go home. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so Radwood 2024 here at the Amelia. There's all those cool Audis. And uh, it's just good to see people out here celebrating these cars and uh, really enjoying it. Here's another look at that Alpina B10. You saw the B10 that I reviewed there. That review will be coming soon. I will probably have it done next week at some point and post it. Always trying to post some very unique, interesting cars. But uh, this is, uh, I don't know. This one here has to be uh, my favorite. <laughs> I mean, it's outrageous. Look at this thing. Oh my God. A real Gambala BMW, the only one. There you go, Gambala B30. Look at this interior. So uh, there you go. I want to uh, thank you all so much for watching this uh, Radwood video here at the Amelia. And uh, do smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Wow, I've got to show you the side of it. Just, just love this car. <laughs> anyway, uh, check out my 635 CSI Totally Custom. What other Redwood cars do I own? Lancia Delta Integrale. Surprised there wasn't one here today. Kind of sad about it. Uh, my 1987 Citroen CS Wagon, which is pink. It's my Barbie Dream Wagon, or Barbie Dream Hearse, depending on how you look at it. It's a surf wagon. But uh, what else? Uh, my reviews of the... Uh, Buick Rihanna, just search Drive and Ivan in any of these cars. And uh, Aston Martin Lagonda, which I just reviewed, BMW Z8. Just a little bit, it started in 98, so that's a good Redwood car. Um, and there you go, that B10 review coming up. But again, just search Drive and Ivan in any car. Watch my Free or Mind music video that has some of my car collection in it, all of my musical instrument collection. Watch my original music videos, Ink video on TikTok is my uh, music story channel. Ink Video on YouTube is uh, where I play some songs. I play all sorts of covers also, on, even on my Drive and Ivan channel, Hotel California, uh, REM songs, playing all the instruments, you name it. Losing my religion even. So uh, check those out and uh, watch my documentaries, Real Reality, 
about reality TV that I shot back in the day and real poker too. And uh, that's got Chris Moneymaker in it. That's a cool documentary. But uh, that's about it here from the Amelia Radwood 2024. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And again, search any car and drive an Ivan. Thanks for watching. I'm driving Ivan. Yeah, you're rolling out? Yeah. All oh, right. I want to hear this thing. Random question. What engine is it? M20. 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 Wow. Oh, wow. So cool. So there you have it again. Thanks for watching. I'm driving Ivan.